Dude, this is so funny to have a Hamas guy on and then be like, do you condemn Hamas? <laughs> Hamas official doesn't know if the hostages are alive. Is uh, Hamas's head of political and international relations department, Dr. Bassem Naim. Uh, and the last time uh, we spoke, you said that Hamas had killed no civilians in Israel. Well, I can tell you the number is now 1,400 Israelis dead. We have seen images of babies being shot. We have seen images of families Hamas released, murdered. At Hamas released a bunch of uh, footage from hostages, by the way. Like the Israeli hostages they currently have. Close range. Do you accept now that your group murdered civilians on an horrendous <laughs> scale? We've passed over $750,000. Let's uh, go. First of all, I, what I can see at this moment, I think it is uh, not acceptable. It is really shameful to discuss the point we have discussed one week before while not dude this is so funny to have a hamas guy on and then be like do you condemn hamas <laughs> yo i love dude dude our our media is fucking awesome dude I, I western media really thrives okay they did it they did it they brought a hamas representative and asked them to condemn hamas <laughs> ah! that's it you did it. That's it. This is the peak. They, they are a, a brief moment of, uh, you know, a, a brief moment of hilarity in a sea of, of awful emotions. This would have been you if you said yes to Piers. I mean, I would have done the Piers thing. I just couldn't do it while I was live. <laughs> yeah, here, this is, um, um, they released, uh, Hamas released some uh, footage of the, of the uh, Israeli of the Israeli hostages uh, that they have. Uh, in a second, I'll show you. But now, 3,000 Palestinians killed, massacred by Israelis, including 65% of them are women and children. And we have seen 55 families totally eradicated from the civil registry. And you no, cannot no. prove no, no. that they. You cannot. You cannot prove that they were killed by by Palestinians. No, no, Doctor Naim. Yes, Doctor Naim. Doctor Naim. I yes, want to talk. No, no. I mean, he's he's also ridiculous. He's like, you can't prove that we killed them. I mean, uh, brother, they don't need to really do that. You know what I mean? Like, you had GoPro strapped on. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan of chat poking the bear and pushing your buttons. However, it genuinely sucks when the trolls come out for doing an objectively good thing, which is helping the Palestinian trapped in Gaza with almost no global support. And as soon as you condemn Hamas, I'll be happy to make a dono. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, yeah, I, I have uh, a million times over. Yes, I'm glad that uh, <laughs> I'm glad that you are going to be making a dono, saggy Nate. I want to talk first. No. Well, I want to talk first about what you have done in Israel. We have seen videos. We have <laughs> seen videos, Dr. Naim, from your own gunman shooting at civilians and cars in a kibbutz from cameras attached to your own gunman. I mean, he's right. The journalist is right. It, that, that it is ridiculous to be like, oh, dude, you can't prove that. Uh, no, uh, they don't have to prove it because you kind of proved it. You, you you did it. All the fucking Zoomer, all the Zoomers, uh, <laughs> all the Zoomers in in uh, in all of the different brigades were strapped up with GoPros, phones, you know what I mean? They were fucking filming everything. Let me ask you, okay, what is okay. the difference between Hamas and Islamic State? What is the difference between is the Hamas difference between, and the most sickening the of terror groups? Between, what is the difference between Israel and the Islamic State who are massacring now 3,000 Palestinian, innocent Palestinians within one week? And you know that yesterday there was an Israeli killed no. by Israeli soldiers because they your, thought he's a Palestinian. Your gunman, Our people your, are this is true, by the way. The, Israeli, the IDF shot a settler and killed a settler yesterday in the West Bank because they thought he was a Palestinian uh, militant. Your gunman. Which will happen more frequently. Because, you know, there is not really a distinction you can make between who is, who is a, a uh, you know, uh, who's a settler and who is a Palestinian. They just, everybody looks the same. It is multicultural uh, uh, and, and you, you can't really make that distinction. And that is an inevitability of trying to maintain an apartheid state. No, Dr. Naim, your gunman crossed the border 
with the sole aim of murdering civilians in Israel in as great a number as you possibly can. Those are the actions of terrorist organizations. Those are the actions of an organization every bit as bad as the Islamic State. Look, how do you know that these are the intentions of our fighters? First, because we have we have through, we have penetrated the the borders, which is suffocating us now for more than seventeen years, killing a whole generation. You cannot simply build a narrative based on the Israeli propaganda. We to a whole generation is is killed under because of poverty, unemployment, our killing the killing machine of the Israeli regime apartheid state is continuously killing our children and women in front of all checkpoints. So, Therefore, so your I have answer to, I have so, to is, remember you, so is your answer to me, years of oppression is your answer to years of oppression a murderous terrorist attack like this on this scale is that your answer? I, I what have you the same thing. What is the, what is the difference between ISIS and Israel if they have massacred 3,000 innocent civilians in one in one week? Can you answer me? By the my way, question was, what is the difference Hamas, between Hamas, Hamas and Islamic sorry, State? I, I that have was to my question. My answer. I have to complete my answer, please. I mean, the difference between Hamas and the Islamic State, ISIS, is that uh, they fight each other, and uh, and Hamas has killed the the ISIS militants time and time again. So there is the, there is that distinction because one is um, as as uh, David Hurst uh, mentioned in Double Down News in the video that we watched before, ISIS is a a, a CIA backed, I would say almost colonialist project. It 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 is it fits in the category of like taking over territory. It, it is it fits in the the um it, it it's not a state right it's not a government but it does behave in uh a a in an effort to basically take over territory that does not historically belong to it and they don't even care like there's no their 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 goal is to just basically their goal is to basically create an islamic state right in in whichever region they can so there, the difference uh, between that and Hamas would be while both are Islamist fundamentalists and and both are uh, violent to varying degrees in uh, in whether it's a retaliatory effort or trying to gain more land or gain control over land, um, one is uh, one is a resistance movement which ostensibly ostensibly is supposed to stop being a violent movement the moment that there is no need for a resistance the other there is no stopping until you know they are completely fucking uh until they're completely wiped out this distinction does not mean that i am in support of hamas nor am i in support of isis obviously this distinction is an important one to understand and it's really sad that people will look at this and go oh you're offering nuance in this situation which means that you must be in support of both Typical Muslim loves it. You know, no, my job is to explain things to you so you have a better understanding so that you have a better solution to the problem. Okay? Analysis is not a justification. Pause, you're turning into your uncle. Okay. You, you cannot, you, you are, not, I am not in an investigation from you, sir. I have to answer the question. No, you should not direct my, me how to answer the question. Hamas was the first a group here in the region and the first government who in, in 2008 have militarily attacked ISIS group in Gaza and our people killed during this operation. They are very, 18 minutes left on the donation match, FYI. Oh, okay, nice. 18 minutes until the 50,000 dono matching uh, continues. 18 minutes. Um, I forgot they refer to ISIS group when they're saying Islamic State. I thought they were just describing a country of Islam before I remembered. No, they're saying like ISIL or ISIS. That's what they mean when they're when they're making that comparison. And we have eradicated what so-called ISIS because we have a clear vision toward our goals. Our <laughs> Hamas is like only we get to control this area. Okay, no, none of that, none of that other shit. Our goals is to get rid of the occupation, to get rid of the of the suffocating siege, if. The international community is ready to help us to achieve yeah. their goals. Please, 
we we are happy with this. Please. We are go, uh, war in itself is not but, an, an a goal. The the goal doctor, is to get doctor. All you've achieved, all all you've achieved is that the Israeli military now, in their own words, want to wipe you out. Let's try and let's try and just get somewhere. You, on you give him an while we to have you, out? can we? You give him an excuse to wipe us Can we just out? get somewhere on hostages? Can we just get somewhere on hostages? Will you? Are you prepared to release? all or some of the hostages that you have in return for a ceasefire. Are you prepared to do that? We, this is good. This, now this is productive. We have told all the mediators clearly and officially, we are ready to release all the civil uh, hostages at, at, the, at, at the time the aggression is against our people is stopped because uh, morally, and practically, logistically, it is impossible to do such a step. But at the, at the time the aggression is stopped, we are ready to release the civil, uh, the civil hostages. So you will release the hostages in but, return but for I a hope, ceasefire. I, is that what you're saying? But, is that what you're I saying? Hope, but I hope that we will have if they release the hostages that gives israel to go ahead and destroy even more no no they i i 100 percent they will release all the as he's saying the civilian hostages which means that those who are idf uh, or those who they they took hostages uh, as like uh, enemy combatants they won't release yet um but yeah no i i think that i i don't the 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 question always is this okay what if they don't do that what if they what if they release the hostages and it's like uh what if they say that they're going to release the hostages uh in an effort to start a ceasefire and then they don't release the hostages and it's like okay well then you just keep bombing like you have this doesn't change anything from the Israeli perspective. Israel doesn't even give a shit about the hostages being released because they personally, partially consider it to be bad PR for them. Hostages uh, alive at the time the aggression is ended because yesterday Al Qassam Brigade has announced that nine uh, of the uh, hostages or the captured the people are killed under the Israeli bombardment. Nine of the hostages so far have been killed uh, under Israeli bombardment, according to the, the Qassam Brigade commander. Two days ago, uh, 13 others were killed, including four foreigners. If they continue this bombardment, are all the hostages, hostages are killed without Are people. all the hostages 22. alive at the moment? Are all the hostages, know, the 199 hostages, are they? He says he doesn't know if all the hostages are alive. Um, it's 22 as of today. I told you this already, not nine. Okay. 20, 29, not nine. That definition is sketchy. Who's a civilian in their eyes? I thought settlers aren't civilians. No, they. I'm fairly certain that they make a distinction between fucking babies and women and uh, and and children versus uh, people that they have uh, people that they consider uh, prisoners of war, the non-civilian hostages. I do not know. I don't know why you're asking me. I do not know if they consider all adult men to be enemy combatants and prisoners of war or if they, like, I don't know what the distinction is because women can serve in the IDF as well. So uh, I don't know if uh, they're making that distinction or not. I don't know what percentage they consider to be, uh, what percentage of the, of the hostages they consider to be uh, enemy combatants. I think they said they were going to release foreign nationals. Yeah, I can, I can see that as well. And I also don't really know uh, why you're asking me what my take is on that matter, because I don't know. Are they alive at the moment? I don't know. I have no idea, because this is impossible. Under this heavy bombardment, the, the communications are totally con uh, cut. The contact between the different groups, because there are different groups who have taken the hostages. But it is very strange. You are talking most of the time about Hamas and civilians and hostages. But you have mentioned, you have not mentioned our people who are massacred 24 hours a day, 24 hours a, a, a day by one word. You are not even mentioning these children beheaded by the Israeli women, supported by the British government, because only by one word. Most of the time in this interview and the interview before, you are talking about the same propaganda. Your response, as but, media. but your response has been the most appalling terrorist attack on this. Remember, Hamas said that they would execute hostages if Israel did not cease its bombing campaign. First, they took the hostages and said, we took these hostages 
because we want to negotiate and we want a uh, to build a port. We want to build a port in in Gaza, and uh, we want to do a prisoner swap. Okay. Then they also said, in the immediate aftermath of taking the hostages, they said, we have placed these hostages all around the Gaza Strip. So if you bomb the Gaza Strip, you're going to be bombing your own civilians. You're going to be bombing your own citizens. Okay? So <clears throat> they said that they would... I don't know what the term they use. It's like, it, it's, not a, it's not a direct translation, but like, we will democratize the violence that you're dealing towards us by, by putting... Um, by, by putting the, the uh, Israeli citizens and the foreign nationals uh, in the line of fire, in, in your line of fire, basically. Now, that is a human shield. That is literally what that is. That is like the actual definition of a human shield, right? Uh, they know that the Palestinians are not real human shields. Nobody gives a shit about the Palestinians, and the Israeli government doesn't give a shit about the pa uh, Palestinians at all. So they thought, perhaps foolishly, that uh, the Israeli government would give a shit about its own citizens. Now, immediately in the immediately in the closed door meetings that took place on the Israeli side, or not even closed door meetings, though they were publicized at least. Um, some members of uh, Likud were openly stating that uh, they basically considered the hostages to be as good as dead, where. Um, they said that they were going to take military action regardless of the situation with the hostages. They knew that this would be deeply unpopular inside of Israel, and yet they still chose to follow through on this process. And that is precisely why, even before they took control back from Palestinian militants in southern towns, where they were positioned for almost two days, they started bombing Gaza. So, this is a, a major issue internally in Israel when you have hundreds of families that know, or at least they want to believe, their, their uh, family members are currently being held hostage and are alive, okay? They are, of course, going to be very upset if Netanyahu's like, yeah, we don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, they're going to die in a bombing campaign alongside Palestinians, which is why after the bombing campaign started, one of the things that uh, Hamas came out and said or uh, the al Qassam uh, 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 brigade commanders came out and said was that if the bombing campaigns continue or the no-knock bombing campaigns, I think, continue, that they would start uh, executing some of the hostages. Now, the reason why that is important is so that you understand, like, if a hostage has died in the hands of, of Hamas or, or Qassam, uh, and you didn't see it, and there was no video evidence of it, then they most likely died in rocket fire because there is no reason for them to not execute a hostage on camera. Of course, they would execute a hostage on camera because that's why they took the fucking hostage. So this is important for you to understand, specifically from the perspective that, like, in the upcoming days, people will say, once this operation is done, once this ethnic cleansing is done, people will say... Uh, oh, Hamas definitely uh, killed uh, all the hostages. They uh, killed all the hostages themselves. The reason why that's important, the reason why that's important to comprehend is that they would not do that off camera for funsies because a hostage is incredibly valuable in that, at that point, at this point in the conflict. And for the record, um, in an effort to, to showcase the situation and probably try and do propaganda internally inside of Israel, Hamas has released videos of some of the hostages and the condition that they're in. Here's a video released by Hamas's armed wing, Al Qassam, showing 21-year-old captive Mia Shim being treated with her wounds. Now, right now, this image cannot be shown most likely inside of the uh, state of Israel. I do not know if uh, some of the, the Israeli media will refuse to comply with the Likud, uh, uh, with, the, with the new uh, Likud security measures that they're pushing forward, which will criminally uh, punish. Oh, they did show it? Okay. I was about to say, literally just showed it. Okay. So some of the news media inside of Israel is not complying with the possible new laws that they've uh, pushed forward. Um, thank, you for, uh, thank you for clarifying that, by the way, uh, Kakista Cracker. 
Uh, if you are in Israel proper, I'm sure you are uh, uh, also familiar with the with the new uh, with the new security legislation that's being passed, right? Where any kind of any kind of of information that they per, they consider to be any kind of information that they consider to be anti-war uh, propaganda that would like hurt the morale of the IDF, they are going to punish criminally. That is what they have said, and that is what they're pushing for, which would imply that information such as this one is technically actually harming the war effort. Lefties 8%, Moretz didn't even pass the Knesset. Yes, Israel's left is unfortunately uh, marginal. So not only that, but also the family members of the hostages went from being used as a uh, propaganda talking point to, to do the blood and soil campaign to do the blood and soil campaign uh, in, in Gaza to a, a nuisance that needs to be dealt with. The first couple of days, they used the families of the hostages to be like, this is why we have to go and fucking invade uh, Gaza and bomb it into oblivion and turn it into a fucking parking lot. And then very quickly, seven days in, now, they're sa now they see the families of the hostages as a, uh, as a nuisance. Netanyahu took seven fucking days to see the families after 180 families were protesting outside uh, the, the Knesset and also, uh, and also obviously going into going to media and complaining in the media about the, the situation and like uh, Israel's lack of interest in protecting uh, the safety of the hostages. The only thing, the only, um, the, the, uh, the only thing that Netanyahu did was seven days later uh, s uh, meet with five selected hostages out of the hundreds, okay? The family members of the five selected hostages out of hundreds in a short meeting where he said he's going to do everything he can to uh, support them. <laughs>